I don't know. Oh, I forgot that we can't hear ourselves. Head down. I'm over here doing ASMR. Head down, head up. <laughs> like this. Hold up. Body. I got up. <laughs> Let's do some chin exercises. <laughs> Like, you know how to, no actually you know how to make your double chin take away you have to like put the tongue of your the you have to put your tongue in the roof of your mouth and then like it sucks so it in old. like if we're gonna swallow <laughs> what we're pressing that hard huh? like if we're gonna swallow <laughs> no like like we say you're gonna like swallow like gulp. but don't we're gonna swallow gulp. you know just keep it in your mouth whoa 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 what All right, so everybody, you? everybody good? Yeah. Dude, the beginning of the podcast when we started in West Covina, it literally started with the... Damn. Nice. Hey, Toast Alive podcast, baby. Most authentic, most organic. Go ahead, sneeze, cough, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> Here we go. This is, <laughs> this is the intro once again. Thank you, Genesis, for interrupting the perfect intro we had. So I'm just gonna... That's Pepe there. That's Mr. Me. Jose Noe here. And... Miss Genesis out here making fun of all of us at the same time as she always does. Same. It's gonna be sad podcast. <laughs> today, today. Cue the, the music. Down. Cue the sad music, as everybody says. We're notorious for. Nah, just kidding. We're back, baby. You know, in December now. We're recording December. this on December first. First of December. First of December. All of a sudden, you know. You got what? A month left. On Dude, this year, this year you gotta went make it by count, right? so fast. You gotta make it count. 31 days. 31 days. Fuck. 30. 30 now. 30 wait, now. What, are you, what are you giving up for the quaresma for? Oh, wait, that's that's a different month. That's another that's, month. That's different, right? Wait, but you can always start something new, like... Rather not. No, not... Like, just wait till New year. year? We can start next year. Jose, you're a trainer. How do you break habits, big guy? How do you, how do you break the habits? You take the small wins. Just go day by day, step by step. Look at that. We already started off with motivation. Right, right. You already know how we do, man. Nah, today we're, we're going to bring a little bit of, of funk here recording at the studio. Home studio, finally. All right. And it, oh, fuck. How does it feel? Weird. Finally cleaned it up. Weird. Finally cleaned up. It took me a whole week to clean up two rooms, but still got judged about the rooms I didn't clean. <laughs> Don't come to his house. Don't come to Nah, you know what? Oh, like, I think when, when you live alone, like I, like I said... Being fucking depressed, you're like, ah, leave it. No one comes. But now that I was like, oh, everybody's coming. Oh, shit. Like, let me just clean this one room. Yeah, like I didn't know I had so much <laughs> mess. Just the one that matters. Just the one that, the one that matters. Yeah, just you're going to close your eyes until you get to the room. You're going to open the closet and everything's going to fall. <laughs> well, it's basically your room. <laughs> I opened that shit and like fucking clothes came at me. <laughs> Anyways, shut that mic off. <laughs> now, nah, um, man, let's, let's get this shit Start it because we've been talking before camera, you no know, relationships, how to get out of friend zones or how to get out of a, a your worst date. So, ladies first, talk about the worst date you've been and how'd you get out of it. Did you uh, get out of it? Did you get out? Were you able to get out of it? Honestly, I did get out of it. I remember I had it was back when I had, was like dating on like Hinge or something. First of all, the guy lied about his age. He was older <laughs> than what he was. But oh, I already had honestly I can't remember. I don't remember, but he was like I think at the time I was barely like 20, 21. He was like he said he was like I think 26, 27, but he was like really like 30. Oh, is your and filter that old? Wait, I don't know. <laughs> that's my cool. filter is like fifty. No, I'm just kidding. That was before like the no. the edits on like Pro Final Cut Pro and like you know right now there's the TikTok eight like age filter. So. You know what's so crazy though? No, his profile had said like twenty six or something. Like he, I don't know. He just, anyways. But so I got out of it. So I already had set up. Like, Wait, where did he take you? Or where did you meet him? I told him we're not gonna get that to it. Isn't that important? No, it is. Not. It is because like no, it's not. Okay, you were the back so, of the car. No, <laughs> so we ended up going back to his place to smoke hookah, and after I was already getting like iffy vibes, so I already told my friend like I set it up. I was like, I'm gonna send you emojis like the save me the sirens, and then I remember it just got super weird. Like we just weren't, you know, no chemistry, no nothing. So I yeah. texted her and I was like, I texted her the emojis. Calls me right away. Hey, I'm drunk. Hey, and I'm just like, 
like she's like come pick me up and this and that and i was like i gotta go i'm sorry like i gotta go he's like what why i'm like friends drunk like i gotta go peace out damn shout out to that every time though every time i go on a date fallen soldier bro it's fallen soldier right there Every time, though, I go on a date, I always set something up with my friends where I'm like, if I send this, you better save me. Okay, before I let the guys answer, what qualifies it as a date? Now, like, in dating right now, what qualifies for it to be a date? Like, you need to tell me straight up that it's a date. Because I feel like people nowadays would like to be like, oh, let's hang out. Like, no, we don't need to hang out. Like, if you want to date me, then, like, set something up. Set a time, a day, what time you're going to pick me up, what's the occasion so I can prepare myself. If you don't give me any of that, it's not happening. You wouldn't drive by, by yourself to wherever? Just in case um, you got to go? No, so yeah. So like if I'm barely meeting this person and yeah, I feel more safe. Yeah, talk about like, like fir- first date, okay, first time so, meeting. Yeah, first date or send me a car. Don't. Oh. <laughs> if, you know, oh. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, Why? Right. Like. Hey, you deserve what you deserve. That's exactly. what it is. Right. That's right. But I do like I do tell them like I need an advance notice. You're not gonna tell me day of, you know, be like oh let's go let's go do this real quick unless you give me a couple hours so I can get ready. But um, no, like if it's the first day, I need you to set it up. Okay. Yeah. My guys, what do we think is a quali- What qualifies for a first date? What are the qualifications? Damn, it's been a minute. No, uh, like she said, I think we got to ask, right? We got to ask them out. And I mean, there's not much to it. Like she said, I mean, as a guy, ask out, pay for the dinner, at least the first date, right? I feel like half and half. No, no, half and half. No, absolutely not. (laughs) The first date is always the guy, right? At least that's me. Like first date, no matter what, first date, no matter what. Guy pays. Like, you know no what I heard? What. And I'm actually going to use this. If someone ever tells me, let's go half and half, I'm going to be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I thought this was a date. But I understand that we're just friends now. So if you're going to make me pay half and half, I'm going to hit you with, oh, I didn't realize that we're just hanging out as friends. Yeah, that's real. Because that's real. I'm sorry, but I'm going to expect if the person I want, I'm going to want a man that leads. I can take care of myself. I got that. Yeah, you don't need somebody, right? Yeah, I yeah. don't need someone. But I want someone that's going to come up to me and be like, don't worry, I got it. Like, let me turn off my brain. Let me not think. Would Would you ever be, say hypothetically you like you like this guy already? You're going into it, you already you have a, a connection with them. Would you mind paying for the first date? If we already have a connection, I wouldn't mind it, but it's not something I'm gonna be expected of. So, like, okay, if you come to me, like, hey, you know what? I want to go out, but I'm having a little bit of trouble right now. Cool, we can, like, have and have. We can do something that's not expensive. But don't let that be an ongoing situation. But, uh, no, us guys, we would never, yeah, we would never, no, no. Put that shit on the credit card. Put that shit on the credit card. You never admit. Okay, so say a guy, a girl pays the dinner without you even knowing. Say you go to a restaurant when you come back, yo, it's taken care of. What, what do you, what do you, guys, what do you guys do after? She pays for the dinner. What's the plan now? You gotta, you gotta take like a, a huge next level up. Like you gotta not match it. You gotta go above and beyond, oh, beyond that that's, because that's she crazy. took care that's, of the first one. That's rare. You, you don't. But then that's it. also right. Let's say the female does pay the first one. Is she just fucking friend zoning your ass right off the bat, right? That. Because Ooh. if I fe- if I ask you out on a date and you pay for the fir- to for that date, yeah. I'm like, did you just like friend zone me? You know, yeah. but you see, yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, at least for me, I don't go out with complete strangers. I <laughs> like it's not my first time meeting you, and it's not my first time like talking to you. Like I, I feel like I, I would be friends with you beforehand. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like that connection would be there, and I would know if you like me or not. You know. So I don't know. I, that's just me. If you if you're gonna pay for that, then I just know you 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 like me. You you want to continue this, and that's why I say you gotta go above and beyond, not just match it, but above and beyond if they. What about you? you? I know. What would you do? To like for a first date? Yeah. No. Like what? And some if like if they would pay. Yeah. Oh, I, exactly how they're saying. If you pay the date, okay, I'm gonna take you here now. So now we're gonna continue this because whether you paid for it as friends, or whatever, as who I am as a as a man, now it's my responsibility to at least pay you back in a way that. You know, I match whatever we just spend on, whatever it is. Like, and then some. Because, like, realistically, when you when you go to a restaurant, what is it? Minimum, 
for two people, 150 bucks. Yeah. Minimum right now. At least. Couple, like that's two yeah, drinks especially each. If you're drinking. Yeah. yeah, two drinks each, appetizer and your entrees. Cool. Now it depends on like the area that you're in, right? If you just go to a restaurant and there's nothing around, well now you gotta make sure you, like you gotta the, get um you, spontaneous. Spontaneous, you gotta, yeah. Like, hey, you know what? Let's how you you mind if we go here? Okay, cool. I got this. You know what I mean? Because I think the first impression it's the one and only thing that's going to ever leave them. percent. It will make or break it. Yeah, like either you keep the date going after dinner because, you know, everything went well. Or, okay, let me drop you off at home. You drop her off at home before 9, 10. She's going out with her homegirls right after that's because right. that she's shit gonna, was boring. You know she's going to talk she's shit. She's going on day number two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she's going on day number two. <clears throat> you drop me yeah, off right smart. on time. We're like, perfect. Next one pulling up. Just in one's case. going away, one's you pulling dab up. dab them up on the way in. <laughs> No, hey. <laughs> hey, when you meet them for the first time, if they dab you up, you're going with your homie. That's the homie right there. That's you're the homie. You're, dinner, you're eating dinner with the homie. But it's because right now it's like it's a real thing. I was literally listening to this earlier where it's like now for a man to qualify as the one, like they have to be able to provide a certain number, a certain amount of things for them to even consider you because you know we talked about this before you know you're in your male in your Your male masculine masculine energy energy. you take care of you yeah so why do you need me right exactly so it's like now as men we got to level up even more because bro girls got them they got themselves they don't need us they They don't don't. need us to buy them things especially nowadays right they treat themselves they buy whatever they want they go wherever, wherever they want they go on girls trips so as a man what can you provide so you guys, before Dennis's answer is like, what do you feel now the way shit is going? What do we need to provide? I feel like if that person's demanding like that actual like dollar figure, that materialistic thing, that's what exactly what you're gonna get. Like that, it's not gonna be that genuine person that you're gonna be getting. Like, yeah, it's cool to value yourself and to expect things to have that, like, oh, like I want, I would like for you to pay for things or take care of me and stuff like that. But also, like, just know that type of mindset and mentality is going to not be be very genuine to you. So at least for now, I could I would say I would provide, like, genuine care and love for that person. Contestant number one. Damn. <laughs> Straight up. No, I think emotional stability, right? That's Ooh. the one thing that's kind of hard, especially nowadays, because I feel like we're so damaged that for a female to want us, right, they said they can take care of themselves. I feel like the least thing we can do is provide like a safe space mm. for them, you know, and maybe not mm. really create, I guess, a space for them or having it's it would suck to have the female have to take care of us on top of it. You know, when yeah. well, especially at the beginning have, stage, yeah. Yeah. I think it, at, at the beginning stage of talking, if you enter the talking stage with your damage as a man, you know, a woman was really going to think, it was like, fuck, I'm damaged. Is he even worth it? So though? if he's right? damaged, I can't really take care of him either because I'm trying to take care of me. So now I got to play both roles and I really don't want to do that because I've been doing it for so long. So now it's like... Is it even worth it to date yeah, somebody at this point, right? Because as a man, you correct me if I'm wrong, as a man, you want to feel secure. Thousand you want to feel safe and you want to feel taken care of. We need to be the providers, the protectors, and the people to make... Like, we got to make you feel safe. So, yeah, so it gets basis off, like, you do your part, I'll do my part. Right. But I feel like we're kind of, as a, a society, we're backing away where, like, guys aren't providing it initially. They're kind of like, well, what do you do for me and I do for you? Yeah. When before, it was the opposite, very traditional-wise. It was the man will lead and lead and lead, and then the woman will follow. Yeah. So, There's like, no for voice me, as and, a like, woman. I'm still very old school. Like, I would want my future person to... Like, like I said before, don't worry, I got me, you know, I can take myself on trips, I can get myself nice stuff, and but I can pr- be that person, I can submit to you, I can do this thing, but yeah. I'm going to need you to show me that I can, because if I'm trying to submit to you, but also take care of myself, and you're not letting me come out with my masculine, it is like, why am I here, why do I need you, you're causing me more stress instead of just letting me be free, yeah. I feel like as women that... We need to be more softer, and the way to do that is when a guy does provide. And right yeah. now in society, guys are not doing that. I don't feel like they are. I feel like it's because I think every 
guys, some guys now, like, their priorities are so fucked up. They want to be able to go party with the homies. They want to go be able to. They want buy. the relationship without the status. Yes. And without without the responsibility. Yes. yes. Because responsibility of a relationship isn't just you can go out with your girl one weekend out of the month or every, or every weekend with your homies. Like, bro, you have to be able to take your girl out by yourself. And if you want to meet with the homies, you could do that shit later. As a girl, like I'm sure they want the they want that one on one time. They Girls want are more emotional, and we go based off more emotions. So the more you made us feel secure, the more you make us feel reassured. Yeah, it's easier. Like at least I learned from myself, like to also give that other person their space and let them be their in their own individual. Yeah, for sure. Um, but that will only I will only allow that or not allow that, but that can only happen if you give me that security. You know, like, I don't mind you going out with your homies all the time. I don't mind you doing this and that. But at the same time, also make me feel like I'm also a priority in your life. Because mm. if it's always your homies, your homies, your homies before me, I'm going to turn around and resent your homies now and be like, oh, well, for them, you do this. For them, you do this. When have you done that for me? You get me? So it's like, I feel like you need a little bit of balance. Like, what is your home? Sorry, but what are your homies going to do that? Your girls, like, you know, like your girls didn't provide you more than your homies. Let's be real. Like, if you have a solid ass female. <laughs> no, if, if you have. <laughs> no, it's because we, no, we, like, no, like we look at each other because like guys, I think me speaking for myself, like in order for me to allow someone to infiltrate my circle, which is the relationship I have with my homies. It's like, yo, like, these are my homies. These are the motherfuckers that I can count on regardless of whatever happens. But then make her feel a part of that as well. Yeah. You know, obviously, I still have your one-on-one on your homies, but, like, maybe bring her around more or have yes. their girlfriends and, like, let them Yeah, be stop friends. holding hands with your homies, fool. Like, you real? know, it's, it builds their securities, dog. Nah, because, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it, again, it's like, I think with everything happening, like, relationships now, yeah, it's hard. And to not get really, really serious on that topic... It's just like now it's like, bro, like if guys, we can get our shit together and you're not manning up as the way sh- things should be, you can't expect a real woman to come in into your life and look at you at a, at a certain level of respect. Because if a girl looks at you and they can't even respect you, my boy, there's an issue right there. Not just that. At that point, it's not even. I mean, if it. she doesn't respect you, she ain't going to date you. Right? She's probably more of a man than you. you. <laughs> That's right. She'll be like, oh, OK, this guy's doing this. But I'm gonna, I feel like that's what a lot of girls are now. A lot of girls in their mascul- masculinity are like, all right, I'm going to match you now. But mm. I feel like we're sneakier. Like, we know how to do um. it. Say, like, I'm going to play, like, say they feel played. I feel like girls know how to play it better. It's because now, bro, is it now? It, it's all because, you got to do is cry and we feel bad. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> like, you did this to him? Oh, my bad, my I bad. I can't believe it. Hold on. <laughs> Hey, cry the yeah, segment the segment put in the sad music this is a segment <laughs> nah because in the arms of <laughs> it reminds me of the, of the um the animal shelter video that's why <laughs> not calling you a dog 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 let's not we should get a soundboard just put a I know we we'll just yeah. insert dog here hold up <laughs> <laughs> oh you I forgot the tat the tat Aww. Now, I think, uh, random question, and this is for all the listeners This like are hearing this right now or watching, who can cheat better, guys or girls? I feel like we're going to say the opposite gender. But, uh, I feel like girls, I feel like oh, we know yeah. how to. Never mind. Yeah. We, we, we all like, agree that. We all agree yeah. that. We, we all agree. agree. Okay. We all for agree. that same reason, right? Yeah, they're I better at lying. Like, I low-key feel like girls learn how to play this, like, learn how... You guys started cheating. We're like, all right, bet. Low key, just lying too. Yeah, just lying. I feel like we're better In liars. General. I feel like we know how to keep up with our lies. And where you guys are what like, you, you say one notes. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you guys say receipts. one thing, and the next day you say something else, and I'll be like, and the girls remember a lot more. We're like, you said this on April 16, 2012, um, at five. Yeah, better. You guys got your friends to help you out. Oh, oh, for yeah, real. Everything to the group chat. No, right right now. Like, if you're able to call your best friend, you tell her, hey, wasn't I with so and so this day? They'll be like, try it? <laughs> I'm down. Who are we calling? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but 
Make make up a story. This is we're okay, proving so the point. Okay, so what right should now. I say? Should I be like, "Hey, wasn't I with you yesterday?" Yesterday night. Last night. Let's see what hey, we're here. At the one. Yeah. Imagine she calls me out on it. Put it on the mic. Put it on the mic. Watch her not answer. She doesn't have her answers. It is me. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Um. Wasn't I with you yesterday? Yeah. Why? Because this girl doesn't believe me. He thinks I was like out here partying and shit. The freak. Yeah, yeah. dude. So yeah, right. We're doing our. We're you're doing my eyelashes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. So I have you on speaker and <laughs> so the, the question was like, can you call a homegirl and would they lie for you? Are we shouting her out? Or no, <laughs> no, we can't. Anonymous. Nah, that's an AI. That's an AI talking right there. Yeah, I got caught. <laughs> <laughs> and they proved the point. Oh we proved the point. Like now we proved the point, though. We proved the point. <laughs> All right, then. But thank you. Now I know you got my back. <laughs> That's a real homie, right, right there. Then, love you. Bye. <laughs> hey, let me call somebody. See if they'll lie for me. Oh, I called okay, Jusco. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, wasn't it with you last night? Wasn't it with you last night? <laughs> we were at the gym. <laughs> I d- no, that's a lie. <laughs> Badass lie right there. No, look. If your real, real homies oh, will go to war with you, and they would die with a lie, no matter oh, what God. happens. Proven point. <laughs> <laughs> Proven yeah. point. Knowing your friend doesn't even fucking go out during the weekend. Yeah, yeah, we're together all day. Oh, <laughs> we're like, call like, her bruh. midnight too, bro. I know. I know, she's, like, dude. she's like, Next I just day. woke up, bro. She's like, yeah, we're together. Y'all do your lashes, and y'all fall out. <laughs> Yeah, she added on. She fell out. She added on. <laughs> nah, Tell but you guys. see, it's those are real homies, though. Can't you know? At the end of the day, like if, if but whatever, okay, like if it was a real situation, and I was with someone, she'd probably like, pull me to the side after and be like, "Yo, yo like, don't make me laugh." What, what, for you. Yeah, it, like don't make me laugh for you, or like, yo, like, better don't co- be doing that anymore. Better question: you know? Will Will your real friends check you on your relationship if you're fucking up? Oh, definitely. Or before 100%. you fucked up. I think I've done it, right? I mean, I've I've called people out on their bullshit. Back. And I've gotten called oh, out yeah. when I'm messing up I've been too. called out my own family yeah. before on that. Because so I'm I like... Think it's the right thing to do. If you're, Especially if you're a real friend, right? I feel like just anybody here. I feel like I could be like, hey, you're fucking up. Like that person don't deserve that. Yeah. Like you know better than that, right? Yeah. And then that's pretty much it, right? Whatever you do with, with your personal life, that's on you. But it's still, I'm still going to call you out. Like, I'm still going to call your ass like, I'm, I'm sure any of us would pick up that call, too, and Facts. say the same thing. Oh, a thousand yeah. percent. But then, like, how you said, like, oh, like, At the like, end, what's you'd be like, yo, like, what why'd you do that? Or, like, what yeah. was that? You know, well, was I think, cool. let me be the the bad person to this. Okay. I think it just depends if, if, if you're my homie, you're dating someone, and I see the person you're with, and I see that person that isn't complimenting you the way that I feel you deserve, in my opinion, in my way, they, too, would, like, Hey, bro, like, you know, I'm not going to really call you out on it, but I'm not going to check you on it either, you know? Like, I'm oh, okay. If you want to do that, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in, unless, like, I see you, man, like, your life just leveled up with this person because this person is... I feel like when you come into a relationship, end of the day, you both come in and you're already at a certain level. Both of you are, are leveling up together. Like, you're pushing each other. You want to better each other. You want to, like, hey, dude, working together. Go, and you guys are, like... A power couple, in a sense. So I think it depends on who you're with, okay. how they carry themselves, and how they act around your friend group, too. Yeah, I mean, that's different, too. Yeah. But it's like, even if that person was bad to you or it wasn't complimenting you, I would be like, then why are you even with her? You just, yeah, facts. Yeah. Just why are you with it, somebody? Like, yeah. you know, like, so do you think do what if, you want to do? If, and if you bring why some, cheat on them, right? That's so always been my thing. Why cheat on somebody? Yeah, because I just feel like I've been... Yeah, I feel really, like I've you're been, looking for something else somewhere else. Mm. Yeah, and so, at the end of the day, it's like, why waste your time? And theirs. Yeah. And you're right? going to make yourself even worse because now you're the cheater. All right, so when when one of, somebody in your friend group is dating someone new, when do you take them serious? Where do they bring them 
does it depend where they bring them to meet you guys, whether it's at a bar, party, or, like, is there a certain area that kind of solidifies, like, oh, shit, they're serious? I feel like when they bring it, bring them around your core group of friends. Yeah. Anywhere. It could be anywhere. Yeah. Like, family party, bar. 100%. Just be, just because you're actually meeting that person, and you're not just talking about them. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go meet up with her after. Oh, yeah, we hung out. No, she's right here. Now, if they don't get along with your friend group, ah, that sucks. how does that work? <laughs> That sucks. How do you deal with that? How Honestly, with my that? friends hated my ex. Well, yeah, both of them. <laughs> I was like, which one? <laughs> both of them. No, um, yeah, my friends did not like them. And then it's hard because it does like take a, a toll on your re- on your yeah. friendships because it's like, well, I want to be with you guys, but I also want to be with my person, but you guys don't get along, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like it's very important that your significant other, like at least your close circle, they get yeah. along or at least tolerable. Like, I get it. Not everybody's meant for each other. You know, like, I'm not going to like all your friends. Or you're not going to like all my friends or yeah. vice versa. But it's like, as long as you can keep it cool in the same room, I don't see what the problem is. Yeah, I think we talked about that, right? Like a birthday party. You know, we have a lot of friends. And it was like, damn, like these friends don't get along with those friends. Well, they don't really match. So how would that be in a party scene, right? Yeah, a thousand percent. That's why I don't throw parties. That's what I was telling you. <laughs> why don't I celebrate my birthdays for that same reason? Yeah. yeah. Like, I got so many groups of friends that it's like, well, I'm not going to bring you around somebody that I know that you don't like, right? And I'm not going to bring that person around somebody else that they don't like. So it's like, what's the point? And then you don't want to put everybody in the same room and then someone having a, like, a resting bitch face and be like, yeah. well, if you don't want to be yeah. here, just don't be here. Like, yeah. Because now you're in a bad mood. You're the, the one that should be celebrated, and you're exactly. not. You're in a bad you're mood because it. you're like, well, I got to look out for them or take care of them or I got to make them happy. So it's like, bro, if you want to, come. If you don't. I feel like, yeah, but I feel like that's a person, at least for me, a personality, like a trait I look for in a person. I mean, not just a person, just a friend in general. Yeah, facts. Like, I always just want everyone to be chill. I mean, 100%. that's why I celebrate the whole month. And every weekend, I just do something with another group. Oh, but that's bien. That's what I'm going to do, too. That's what, that's what <laughs> I did. That's what I did. We did San Diego one weekend. Yeah, 2025, then. And then I went to dinner with my family. And then I went to New York with my other group of friends. Like, like uh, every weekend, I just, different groups. Because, I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of awkward putting everyone together. Right, whoever wants to take me out in January. There's 30 days. Take you to they can take you to the snow. Take. I can take you wherever. Yeah. There's 30 ish days in the month. So, good. let's do it. So, be, again, this is for everybody listening. Hope you guys are subscribing. Again, we're on the road to 50K because we're at 22,000 on YouTube. Road to 500,000 on TikTok because we're at 410 by the time this is out. It's 500 shots. Damn. Damn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you showing? He gets girls. Thank you. A toast to life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm mad at y'all. Forgive me the opportunity. I'm mad at y'all. I'm mad at y'all because you guys are bringing me all the baby daddies. I'm not the stepmom. That's not us. No, no, no. I that's not us. Vibes. No, that's not us. That's you. I, that's all you. No. It's I, no. It's eyes. It's the eyes. Tell, tell me I'm wrong. Almost everybody now, guys and girls that are out dating, when you get to talking to them at a bar or on IG, you're talking to them cool. But then you find out that they have a baby. <laughs> deal breaker or no deal breaker? <coughs> Low key. You know Hi, this is hypothetical, right? Like this is putting you in a yeah, putting you in a scenario. If they got kids, is it okay and, or not? And if it is okay, what's the limit? Because some girl limit be like, kids? yeah, because some girl be like, I got. I'm gonna say is a one baby daddy. <laughs> yeah, one, you, okay, you, no, okay, but kids, one baby, yeah, one, one kid, is enough. One kid. No, you know what? Yeah, one, I think one, one kid. One kid for baby <laughs> See, that's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm not trying to have baby baby daddy drama, right? <laughs> and then he's like, I got done with one, but I got to deal with the next. He's like, damn. Listen, I'm, I'm still 24. I ain't, I ain't taking care of no kids right now. Look, like, I'm still a kid myself. I'm still a kid. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, no. Yeah, um, crazy. Honestly, you know what's so crazy? I had always told myself, like, before I had got, obviously, in my past relationship, I was like, I'm not dating anyone with kids. I don't date this type of person, that type of person. God said, bet, and gave me someone with a kid. You got them all. <laughs> you got them for everything you didn't she want, said, you got. She said, ABC. She's like. Isn't that crazy? Everything, did everything. like, growing up, you're like, nah, I'm never going to have. No, nah, not that. I'm honestly, not having that, not having that. And then you were like, damn, I do have. That. I do have. <laughs> like, no, you know, it's not that bad. No, my is one kid. Yeah, same. And honestly, like. For baby daddy, I feel like they can be. I feel like the younger they are, the more drama you're gonna have with the baby mama because the younger they are, it's the fresher the relationship or the 
pressure the oh. situation. Oh. And as women, I feel like it's harder for, like, good thing I never had to deal, you know, with, like, any baby mamas or anything like that. Like, everyone was always respectful. Yeah. So, um, but I feel like when they're younger, you still have more of that attachment. Like, one, like, your home or your hormones are still, like, very active, you know? So it's, like, obviously, like, if someone who just had a kid and then the dad or whatever tries to move on it's kind of like well we're supposed to be a family like i think that family is still engraved into a lot of women and they don't want to let that go which yeah. is obviously like that's normal and that's reasonable but yeah. that's why i for me it's a limit you know like like i said i was lucky enough where this kid was a little bit older and he understood like oh i'm just a girlfriend and that made it easier for me because like you said i'm only 24 you know like that was a big complete change for me but <laughs> that was poof <laughs> um but like i, I said you know puppies. like like i said though like kid was very smart he understood the situation so i was very lucky on that case yeah. so what about you you i know coming yeah. from your perspective yeah, you're yeah. the one with the two kids no, I mean, it's not. no, 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 it's like, it, no. You expect a female to just take you yeah, and like, embrace no. you and your kids, just open arms. Like, I, yo. Okay, so I think in the the mentality that I have, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna kind of sum, sum this up as best as I can. In the mentality that I have, in the priorities that I have, my priorities isn't to make everybody else happy anymore. My priorities is is the business and my kids. Are they good? If someone wants to join in into the life, it's like, bro, like, let's be honest. Having two kids in any sort of scenario, hypothetically, like, yeah, it does come with a lot. But is the person ready to bring in that relationship also? I'm, my relationship is the business and the kids. Other than that, there's nothing else going on. Yeah. So it's just like, I think in a for so long trying to be like make every again i know everybody can relate to this making trying to make everybody happy with what you got going on trying to be a good dad trying to be a good friend a good son a good brother a good everything my mom is the cansas so it's like you know what i got to choose can i be a good partner nah ni vergas that doesn't work right now i won't be a good i'm going to be a good uh businessman a good friend and a good dad As, other than that later do you feel like Better. fear that someone might not take you serious? They might date you, but they're not going to take you serious because you have kids? I think I could care less. Uh, fuck, I read it today. It's like my fear is trying to get a, being attached to someone and losing my step once again. Because, I, I mean, like girls and guys, as soon as you fall for someone really hard because, man, you feel safe with them, you feel at home with them, you know, sometimes you're like, you know what? Ah, fuck that. I'd rather stay I'd rather stay with you or spend the day with you. Your priorities get mixed up. So yeah, is there a fear of like taking serious? It's like how Jen was saying. It's like, yo, like, damn, is my home gonna change? Is that, you know, <clears throat> being Mexicans, <clears throat> they don't believe in divorce. They don't believe in stepmom, stepdads. They don't. Aguantate. <laughs> You wanted to have kids with them, aguantate. And then it's always aguantate por los niños. Por los niños. You know? And then yeah. later on in life, they, uh, your parents get older and they're like, we stuck around because of you guys. Oh my God. You know? My dad be saying that all the time. I know, dude. <laughs> he would be like, we stuck around because of you guys. And it's like, and well, like, yo no te dije que, te, que like, se quedaran juntos. No, like, 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 it's because like, I've, I've heard some crazy stories of like parents sleeping in opposite rooms. Yeah. And, like, as kids, you don't, like, ah, my parents sleep that's in different normal. rooms. Yeah, that's yeah, normal. Mad, like, and they'll be like, oh, your dad snores too much. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, all right, cool. It's because they snore. Bro, it, yeah, because it's, like, it's so normal. So now getting older, like, wait, that's not normal. That ain't, that ain't that's not healthy. That's the reason, yeah. Like, I was, I was talking with my sister the other day. Shout out to my sister, man. And, and we're building that communication relationship. And we literally, I literally told her, and she agreed with me, and, like, we're just honest. We've never got taught a healthy way to communicate. We got taught where it's like, no, I'm always right. What I feel is right. You're wrong. But it's like, no, like, I got to give you the space and understand where you're coming from. And, mm -hmm. okay, now we can conversate together. Because I know I have a better relationship conversating with my friends than anybody else because we understand each other. We actually listen to Yeah, each now, like, we know each other. We know the ins and outs. But, like, with my sister, who's older than me, 
me and her in the same household, we didn't, we understood I'm right. You're wrong. And that's the only way that's ever going to be. And if you have a problem with that, you better handle it, whatever you, but I'm right. So now it's like, understanding is like, yo, like, like I told him, I was like, man, I'm a, I'm like a Cerillo, bro. As soon as you spark me up, I'm on. Like, I'm, <laughs> it's, it's horrible. And, and I've been saying like, I don't want to keep acting out of character that way. Yeah. There's certain things, certain people, certain situation that just, boom, I'm on. And I'm like, I don't want to be that way no more. I feel like we're, for us growing up like that, in a way, or very similar to that, I feel like we're always going to have that, but there's always outlets for you to do, like, breathe, or I, for, at least for me, simply, I just walk away for, like, a quick minute. Yeah. Or if yeah. we're texting or calling, like, you know what, I'm going to call you back, like, right now, or I just lag for a little bit, and I don't, I don't even care if I left it on red, but I need to compose myself, because, like how you said, I don't want to yeah. act out of character. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what us too, because in my family, we were always kind of taught, like, you deal with the problem there and then. But now that I'm getting older, sometimes I was like, wait, sometimes we can't talk about it right now. It, and yeah. there's times where, like, me and my parents are going at it, and I can feel myself, like, I'm about to go off, you know? So I try to walk away, and they're yeah. just like, no, we're going to talk about it right now. And it's like, I can't talk to you. And it's trying to, like, teach them, like, sometimes it can't be talked about in the moment. Like, you yeah. need to give me some air. I need to give you some air and come back with a little more clear mind. But growing up, it was always like, no, like, we're family. We're going to talk about it now. Like, yeah. now, now, now. Loudest. Yeah, yeah, and it's like... <laughs> Whoever has the volume the highest. Oh, pff, gritamos. Yeah. And then it's like... No, if you, hablamos, like, gritamos. And, and the and whole it, neighborhood is like... What the neighbors are hearing you. Yeah, we were in apartments. I don't give a fuck. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, it's like, oh, they're hearing you. I don't care. Let them hear. And I'm I like, know. are you going to hear louder? Yeah. 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 Oh, if I get a shit, you want them to listen? I'll make them listen. <laughs> oh, wait, no, <laughs> no, yeah. but you're right. I feel like it's better to just walk away, right? Because yeah. especially now, our parents are getting older, right? Yeah. So the last thing you want to do is say something gonna that's going to hurt it. their feelings and you may regret later on. Yeah. yeah. Right? That part, it's us realizing now that whatever we say, you know, our parents, you know, they'll realize it, won't say anything, some some of them, mm -hmm. but us, when we realize, we're like, why did I say that, bro? Why did I do that? Why did yeah. I raise my voice? Like, why can't I just calm down? So now, like, I even, it's been a walk, months, but I know me and my dad had gotten into it, yeah, and... We walked away. I walked away, put the kids inside the truck because we were going to leave home. And my dad was just outside, like still mad, dog. Like this, this was like a Mexican dad. When he mad, he mad. He's waiting for the response. He's pumping and pumping, yeah. huh? He's waiting for you He's to like, respond. Yeah. He, that heavy breathing? It's like, damn. So I changed it. So as soon as like I went up to him and he, I think I knew he was waiting for the response to kind of like two over two right there. And I was like, yo, I'm sorry. I love you. Have a good night. And then he's just like, boom, embrace me. He's like, Mijo, like, I love you. Te amo. He's like, está bien. I'm sorry, too. I'm like. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, you know, like our yeah. parents, they tried to talk to us in English <laughs> yeah. to like, you know, and it's just like. We, in a way, have to teach our parents the healthy practices of communication at the same time of us trying to fix it, because I can work with you guys in communication. Oh, a thousand percent. But then I'm going to go over here. I'm like, nah, fuck that. I'm, a, and I'm like, damn, I'm acting out of character. Yeah. So I read one time, and I know Jen can probably like understand this part. It's like, I pray to God that I don't become or continue to be the person I used to be. I pray to him every day that I, I keep on elevating and progressing to the new person that I am now, because who I am now wasn't who I was at the beginning of this year. Before I'm like boom firecracker. Now it's like I can't. I'm I'm tired. I can't fight. I don't want to fight. Mm -hmm. So I pray that I don't go back to who I was because who I was then I don't like that person. I'll continue to pray <laughs> and like now it's like I'm ready to. Nah, hell, I'm gonna put on a song. Like you send me some songs and I just put on a song and I'm like, <sighs> cool, breathe, yeah. breathe. Little be there. <laughs> And not just that, honestly, I think I've, like, you know, I have gone to the point when I, I was so mad that, like, I, I blacked out. A couple times, actually, like, even with my own family, where we almost, like, 
went like hit each other like we were that mad you know and i was like do it hit me like i just want a reason to hit you back you know but um oh for back away guys back away guys no but honestly i think it was it was carol she um she told me she's like why would you let someone take you out your character and she's like why mm. would you let someone have that much control over you yeah and once she put it in that perspective i was like i let this one person really control how i felt yeah. and how i reacted like mm, i would yes. never give someone that that authority over me and my emotions where That's i'm like and so now like when are you on my family when are you with just anybody you know i am just like i'm gonna let you talk i'm gonna walk away but if i start feeling like i'm boiling I'm, I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> it's because like, you. Like, I don't start shit, but I'm gonna finish it real quick. Yeah, like I won't start it, but I, I can finish it, but I'm this if it. I want to. I what, it's just safe. It's how I was it's trying safe. to say at the beginning. Of the uh, before the cameras turned on, it was like, don't mistake my kindness for my weakness. I'm a very nice guy. I'm loving and I'm caring yeah. and respectful. But if you try to test me in ways that you think I'm gonna just let you run, like walk all over me. Then you're going to get the other side of me. And that side is the person I don't want to be. That's right. But what if I need to and I have to, I'm going to be it because I got to protect me now. Right. Because now in this world that we're in, people want to walk over the people that are not willing to speak up for themselves and let shit be. Oh, dude. Ah, fuck that fool. He's, he'll let it be. Don't even worry. Don't even trip about nice. him. He's too nice. He yeah. Shit. Yeah. And even girls. Ah, bro, she ain't going to tell you nothing. Don't worry about it. And then they She'll fight. Get over it. And then they fight back, or they say something back, and now it's like, bro, she crazy. No, she ain't. Oh, oh she. I'm like, no, no, no. Triggered right now. It's because like, I'm breaking out in hives. Oh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> like, oh, she. Either she's crazy, or he's just, bro, he's just toxic. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm not gonna let you play me like a fool because you think what you're doing is correct. Maybe it's correct in your eyes or okay in your eyes, but yeah. in my eyes, I have morals and standards. Don't fuck with me and don't play with me, right? So this is the question I'll ask you guys before. Hope you guys have some time to think about it. But got the question. here we go. What's the question? What is your worst but your best quality? My mouth. <laughs> Hold up. Literally, she didn't even think. So clearly it's her mouth. She it. is your mouth. <laughs> she is your mouth. She didn't even have to think. <laughs> my mouth. Wait, no, no, my mouth. <laughs> Exactly. Right? Exactly. Exactly what I'm saying. Like, so what? <laughs> no, she was. Oh my god. No, no she way. To Bro, that. we can, we cannot make this shit up. We cannot make this shit up. Oh, it's hot. Hold up. Like, she was like, like out. <laughs> you trying to take it back? No, I can't take it back. That's so worse. You're trying to take it back. She's oh like, shit. Whoa. No, but literally. My mm. mouth because I, one, is a good thing because I feel like, I mean, just in the field, I work in the medical field. I can talk to anybody. I can, I got that from my dad. Like, I can talk to a five-year-old, to an 80-year-old, to girl, guy, whatever, right? And I always try to find something to relate to them. So that's a good thing. I'm a people's person. I can talk to anybody, which benefits me. It's a good thing, right? But also, again, when I'm mad, Ooh, like I can hit below the belt real quick, and um, or like some, like I said, like I don't think yeah. before I speak sometimes, you know. So um, <laughs> but yeah, that's my worst in my life. You saw that it's already. Good, <laughs> it's my. It's a good quality to have, but it's also something I'm learning how to control, because I can say some reckless stuff sometimes and yeah. not think about it. And I'm like, oh wait, I should have. I should have shut up. You yeah. know. My guy? Damn. No, I mean, I'm not, there's not much to think about. My emotions. It's Ooh. every emotion, like, it's heightened. If I love you, I love you too hard. If I hate you, Ooh. I hate you too much. That's okay, right, so going off hate, do you, okay, because I don't hate, I don't use hate. Oh, there's certain people that I'm not even going to lie, I did hate them. <laughs> and again. Strongly dislike. No, I was not strongly disliked. Not. I think I'm, that's the, that's, that's it, the healthy version. That's the healthy version. No, we, this is not healthy. If I truly resent you or hate you, 
all you want to know. And you know, I'm not even going to mention names, but it was like back when I used to work in McDonald's, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Carol, no. we're going to fight. We're going to Carol, say no, her piece. it wasn't even them. It, I'm not going to mention them. names, guys. It was, it was a couple of y'all. You know, you know who? I hated you. Drive through people. Still do. No. I hated that. I hated a couple of those people, but again, it was one of those things where like they did stuff, and again, I was way too nice. Again, I'm way too, way yeah. too nice. And I mean, I had to, I had to, I had to keep them in check. Yeah. You know, I had to do certain things that again took me out of character. Mm-hmm. And so, I think th- that's that's one of my yeah, that's so good worst qualities. My emotions. Is there Jose, no way. What's your best? What's your worst but best quality? Just like the job applications, I'm an overachiever. <laughs> no, but on uh, all seriousness, uh, <laughs> I think being independent, I guess, like I don't rely on anyone's help, but also I should rely on someone's help yeah. if I need to ask for help. Like I'm so used to doing things on my own, I don't like asking for help, but for some things like talking or just like just being there and I need someone there, I feel like I wouldn't be able to ask that mm. but i feel like that's just hurting myself too um, definitely uh what about you i think my my passion similar to what you had said when i'm passionate about something or someone i'm all for you i'm all for it i'm i'm willing to do whatever i need to do in order to make the job complete or make that person the happiest ever at the same time, it bites me in the ass because if I'm willing to do all that, I know I'm giving up something of me. I'm literally, if I'm giving you all the time in the world, I'm sacrificing something. If I'm giving you all the love in the world, I'm sacrificing something inside of me because we need that love. I need that personal love of like, yo, you're doing good. I can hear from you guys all the time because you guys are my friends. You guys genuinely love me. But sometimes I need to be able to feel that myself. Like, am I proud of me? You're your biggest critic. Yeah. Like, the are you literally, how do you guys feel about this? Your biggest obstacle is the person standing in front of that mirror. Oh, a thousand percent agree. I, I, well, not even a hundred. <laughs> not even a hundred, right? A thousand. a thousand percent agree. Okay, why? Why do you feel personally that way? And... Give us a, a scenario that probably made you feel that way. Yeah, I mean, being insecure my whole my whole life. And then even then, like when we started, when I started being in the podcast, uh, I didn't want to be on the podcast for that same reason. I felt insecure. The only person that was standing in front of myself yeah. was myself, right? And the more I've been in front of the camera, the easier it's gotten to be in front of the camera. And I yeah. can actually okay. see like, yo, like the only person that was standing in front of me was me. Because now that I'm in front of the camera, it's just more comfortable. It's easy. It just comes a little bit more natural. Yeah. So that's why I agree. A You're not reading it off your phone? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. That was no, good. They told that's me. Good. They called me. They, they literally put me on blast. They're like, hey, you look at your phone too much. I'm like, it's yeah, I'm asking guys. the questions, guys. It's scripted, bro. It's not going to be 20 questions. We have monitors all around here reading our lines out. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, what about you? Man. I can't see. No. <laughs> really, she blind. Wait about your glasses. No, wait, before you answer that, I want to ask you this. What is one point this year that you got in the way of yourself? Oh, wow. I mean, I, I already yes. answered that question. Yeah. Right. What is one point this year that you jeopardize yourself, whether it's being happy a job, an opportunity, or something for you to progress? For me, it would be school. I feel like I could have started school a long time ago. But one thing I was stopping myself, one, I, well, now, like, I've told you guys earlier, um, I stopped smoking weed, you know? That was one thing. Now I feel a little bit more sober-minded. But at the time... Um, I felt like I was stuck in this mindset where like, oh, I can't do that. Like, I haven't been to school in forever. How am I going to study? Like, yeah. I'm not yeah. smart enough anymore. I forgot a lot of the things. Yeah. But once now, like, being more clear-minded and just, like, more sober-minded, I'm just like, wait, why was I stopping myself? I had the whole, my, like, I had so much that I could have done, but I kept 
pinching myself. Like I kept stopping my own self, you know, because I kept getting stuck in this mindset of like, oh no, like maybe it's not your time. Maybe it's not your time. Maybe it's not your time. Yeah. And then I'm just like, but then I kept also regretting it. Like, dude, why haven't you started? Why haven't you started? You know? And it was just more of like, you know what? There's a lot of changes I need to do in my life right now. Yeah. And I come, I stopped a lot of things. You know, I stopped partying as much. I stopped drinking, I stopped smoking. And it's like, I had to stop a lot of my old bad habits of like, instead of just going home after work, you know, hitting the, hitting a blunt and then just like feeling like, oh, I feel so relaxed right now. Like, no, like, Today, I had back-to-back -back things to do, you know? Yeah. Like, I felt yeah. so productive. And I'm like, dude, why couldn't you do this earlier, you know? Yeah. Like, I was stopping myself. I kept trapping myself in this own mindset of, like, oh, I'm cool. I'm I'm comfortable. I'm cruising right now. Like, I'm making good money. I'm So you could say, like, you were blocking your own blessing. Of course. And sometimes, like, people say, you know, you have to cut off certain people for you to get your next blessing. No, sometimes it's your own habits. Mm. For me, it was... I feel like everyone I had in my circle, like, everyone was meant to be here. Everyone that I have right now is meant to be here. But I'm like, why am I not leveling up? Like, yeah. what am I doing wrong? And I was such a high-functioning smoker that, like, I can hit a whole blunt and be like, go get X, Y, and Z done. And, like, a lot of people wouldn't even know I was, like, in space, you know? Because yeah. I was so productive. But in reality of it, in my head, like, I know, like, I was getting so much done still, but I know I just could have went extra more, you know? I could have went yeah. another, like, mm. mile more of what, what I'm doing, but it was just my own habit and my own com comfortability that was stopping me. Man. Um, Jose, let me switch it up for you. This year, when do you, f at what point or scenario did your independency fuck you over? Uh, or you felt now I mean, like that it fucked you over? I would say uh, it's always during the holidays. It's always during during the like just uh, when it gets uh, darker outside. Just uh, feeling alone, feeling like because I'm always alone at the house. Honestly, I only have my brother. But like with my brother, I just uh, I don't really talk to him like that. But just having him there is cool. But it's always just feeling alone during the holidays, during, um, uh, like, at night, you know, like, alone in your thoughts. And then I, it's my own fault to be not be able to be like, hey, like, let's do something to my brother, right? Yeah. Or call you or call anybody, like, yo, let's do something. Or, hey, like, let's hang out. Or yeah. or just you literally just a talk, you know? But I would always be like, ah, no one cares. No one, I mean, that's my own problem. Let me, let me deal with it, you know? Yeah. Okay. So I feel like. It, yeah, I, it's, I feel sad inside, but I feel like I'm putting myself in, in that position just because I'm not asking for help. I'm not talking to nobody. Man, that's some real shit right there. Yeah. So now, can I ask a question? You don't have to answer it. Uh, what makes you feel that way? Feel alone. Alone. Sad. Alone? Just in general. Uh, or why like I you? said, like I feel like my problem, I, I shouldn't be bothering you with my problems, and I know it's, even if I think you guys are my friend. Well, I, I know you guys are my friends. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all right. That, tell us oh, how you truly feel. Crazy. I, know that I just don't, wouldn't, like, I know you've said it before, like, I would just wouldn't want others others to worry about me or, like, just bother with my own problems. But it was, like, um, a, a thing I saw. It's, like, I don't, how do you say it? It's, um, I don't want you to just call me when you're winning. I want you to call me when you're hurting as well. Mm. It's, like, don't always... I don't want to be the friend that you only call when you're doing good. Like, let me be the friend, all around friend. Like, let me be there for you when you're down, you know? Let me be there for you when you're winning. Like, for all of it, when you're just content for everything. Like, don't let me just be your friend. Whereas, like, you're only there in a good mood. Like, no, that's not, a, I don't feel like that's a real friend. A real friend's there for you for, like, through everything, you know? Your ugly stage, your good stage, your content stage, like, a friend should be there all around. So it's like, are you really someone's friend if you're just there for the good parts? No, I, I, I agree. But I feel yeah. like I just never grew up that way. Like, yeah. I just never I feel like it's hard. That part. I feel like yeah, yeah. it's hard. As let Hispanics, it, we don't talk about it. Yeah, letting, letting it be. And I think that's what uh, we were at Ola last time on Saturday, right? And yeah. it was a, literally a, a Saturday that was so chill because we're like, we're so used to the go and go and go. 
that I think you had gone to the restroom and we're saying we're like, bro, like we've literally us three, we never had never hung out, hung like, out together and just in talk. such a chill spot or chill uh, scenario where we're like. Yo, we get to conversate like yeah. together. <laughs> like, like, oh, yeah. Wait, we gotta ha- we really gonna talk now. Huh? Yeah, like, <laughs> we're like, 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 oh, we don't. Like, like, we don't gotta talk about about the podcast or over text because we talk at the podcast and we and we kind of recap everything that's happening throughout the week, throughout yeah. the whatever. But we text throughout the throughout the day, throughout the week. But we've never been like, Yo, let's talk about. Let's talk about plans. Anything else. Please. Yeah. So literally sitting at the bar all together and um, at the brewery together, like we're like, we're going to San Francisco. We need to plan a trip. So let's go. So. Is that what you're going to say something? Or what? No, you. I mean, you still oh, didn't you answer didn't the answer question. Wait. You didn't answer the question. Is okay. Any, so just repeat it. What was. Uh, is there any time this year that you've got in. In your way of yourself. In the way of yourself. In the way of myself. Yes, uh, I think the time that I, I've gotten in the way of myself and now I'm paying for the repercussions was trying to drown all the emotions that I didn't want to feel, which is, you know, realizing that, hey, maybe I'm not being the best person or best version of myself to everybody, but I'm going to put up a smile and make everybody else happy at the same time be at the lowest moment of my life that no one knew how you said I'm a smile how you said I'm a smile but no one's gonna know that when I come home man that shit's the darkest shit ever that I don't want to be home so the way I I drowned everything was I'm not gonna be home I'm gonna be surrounded by people that don't give a shit about me that could care less if I'm okay when I go home but are gonna enjoy my presence when I'm around cause why we're drinking partying and we're having a good time but come Monday, and no one checking in on me, right? And I think during that time, it's not even, there's no blame on anybody else. But during that time, I wasn't opening myself to you guys and, uh, hey, let's check in. Yo, what's up, everybody? Yo, ha- happy Monday, or sending memes, like checking in. Yeah. I didn't open myself because I was like, nah, we're only, I'm going to hit them up Wednesday, Thursday. We have a podcast this week. Yeah. Show up if you want. But now it's so different because I had to realize Okay, those are not healthy practices. You got to deal with shit. <laughs> like, you really, in order for you to get over the demons or f- fight your demons, well, motherfucker, you got to turn around and go fight them. You got no other choice now. So, literally, like, this year I met the most broken version of me, but I've also met the strongest, the strongest version of me. That I could get over this shit. Like, fuck, anybody asking, hey, how are you? Bro, I'm walking with God. I'm good. I'm happy. I got everything I got. I got everything I need. And I got everybody I need. The thing that I don't have, it's just not meant for me. It's okay. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I've met the most broken version of myself. The beginning, in the middle. And now it's like, damn, motherfucker, you could, you could be this... You could be this version. This is the version you've always wanted to be, but it took you this long to be here. So the only reason, like, getting sort of, like, emotional at at this point now is because, fuck, we've survived 11 months of 2023. It was was one heck of a fucking year. So before getting even emotional, let me transfer this into you guys. Who were you... At the beginning of this year, that you are not now. What is the difference? I think the same, just as you. Like, I, I wouldn't say this year was my broken year. I feel like this year was my year of growth. But the same thing as you, as I now look at certain situations instead of being down bad about it. I may be down for the day, but after that, it's kind of like, oh, you know what? I do got it. Like. You, I'm trying to take all the good and the bad that came out of this year. Yeah. And just be like, you know what? Things happen for a reason. It's either a blessing or a lesson. A lesson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, edit. We're going to edit. We're going to edit. We're going to edit. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, remember, we're going to edit. We're going to leave you blank. And over. then we'll get you to talk. <laughs> a little voiceover. No. It's, it's been a day. It's, it's, a, it's a blessing or a lesson. A lesson. <laughs> 
Blessing. But yeah, a blessing or <laughs> like say it slow. Stand it out. How many silup? Silup. Blessing. 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 Two, 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 two. Um, no, just yeah, just becoming that person where I can take any situation and be like. I got it one way or another. Yeah. God's gonna bring me out on the other side of it. Whether it's that situation completely turning my life around and just learning how to work with it. It's yeah. learning to go with the punches, you know, and just being thankful for all of it. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Love that. Okay. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Who were you at the beginning of this year that you are not now? I think I answered it earlier. I was a shy person. A lot more shy, super insecure, and I think clearly it's changed this year. So I'm more confident pretty much in every aspect of life. You know, uh, beginning of the year, I was like, you can't do it. You can't. You're not capable of doing X, Y, and Z. And now I've proven it to myself that I can. My guy, Jose. Uh, <clears throat> who were you at the beginning of this year that you are not now, but that you're so proud of? I feel like I can relate to you you guys I was broken and well still am but it's like it's kind of weird just because pers my personal life it's like it's like down bad but then like everything else like business wise like myself as in like as an athlete that's like the best it's ever been so it's like a mix here and there but I feel like during the middle of 2023 I put my shift my priority into uh just maturing and being more focused on the craft of doing that so um i would say i'm better now than i was in 2023 uh beginning of 2023 just because i focused everything all my marbles onto one thing and that thing is being better as an athlete and as a business person and uh i feel like i'm better off that way because i've shifted my maturity level way higher than what i was before yeah, <clears throat> I think like it, what you just said right now, it's kind of want to piggyback off of it so we can go off of this is we put all of our marbles on one thing in our life. We know the repercussion that comes with it, but we're OK with it. And we're like, willing to take that risk, willing to take the risk. So I'm OK with making it up later. Like, I'm OK if I'm gone right now, like working Doing, building what I need to build, I'm okay with you hating me. There, there'll come a time that hopefully you can forgive me. But if that time doesn't come, I just know now I have something that, like, I can offer. As a man, when we leave here, we want to be good with, I left them something. I left my kids, my family, my parents, my siblings, my friends, some piece of me that's going to live forever. Because I, I feel like if I'm gone and I got nothing to leave. He did something wrong. Did something wrong. I failed. Some way, somehow I failed. So that's what like, you know, as, as men, that's how I feel. As women, as a woman, what do you think or how do you feel when you're gone in 100 years from now? What do you want to be remembered for? Um, I think me specifically um just breaking so many generation generational curses um my thing is like we're like i feel like i'm already doing it now where i'm getting family members that i haven't talked to or we have you know not always gotten along where it's like oh like you're actually speaking out on things that i didn't even know you were going through yeah. or you know now we can i can sit down with my cousins and be like and he's like my cousin from vegas He'll be like, damn, like, Prima, I didn't know you went through that. I went through something similar. Or, like, my cousin from L.A., we talk about our traumas or, like, how we grew up. And I was like, dang, I never knew you went through that. And it's yeah. like, and then we look at our parents, and our parents are, you know, going at it, and they can't even talk to each other. <laughs> and I'm here talking to my cousin about personal stuff now. Yeah. And it's like, 
we're trying to teach them now like yo like you guys can have a civil conversation without arguing all the time or like trying to open up your mind a little bit more instead of being like this is how we do it this is the tradition the whole i'm right you're wrong yeah. and it's like no it's okay to look at that person let them have their perspective this person have that perspective mm. and i think that's breaking a lot of things with our within our own home and i'm proud of that because you know if it wasn't me my family would still have this toxic you know household of communication and like a bunch of my family has so it's crazy how like i feel like i'm, I'm already doing that for yeah. my family i'm letting not even them just having my cousins be more open to even their parents about yeah. how they're feeling and stuff like that so that's what i want to leave and i want my children to carry that on because i don't want my children to have a toxic household where i'm yelling at them and it's like my way or your way because yeah. at the end of the day like when my parents did that to me i lied to them i was sneaking around they didn't trust me i had a tracker on my phone like <laughs> <laughs> i was that kid and i'm the middle child but i was that kid and it's like I do not want to have my my kids feel that way or like even just oh oh they'll call me gorda at home you know and like that affects me to this day my body dysmorphia is crazy and then my cousin told me she's like i never comment on my daughter's weight for that reason she's like so crazy yeah, yeah because i look at myself i'm like bro i'm not even that big but if i look in that mirror i see that little chubby girl and i hear my dad why are you eating so much? Put that down, you know, or yeah. hey, Gordon, I come over yeah, here, nah, you know? Bro, it's because our it family is crazy. It's like, yeah. And like, I look at a whole bunch of people that, you know, not to compare, but are bigger than me. And I'm like, I don't even feel comfortable with my own skin, but this person does, but it's because their family never commented on their weight. But mine always has. And no matter how skinny I get, I'm never comfortable in my skin. And like, yeah. I don't want that to be passed down to my children. Yeah, it's because like, even and being a dad, like, you know, bullying is real shit. So it's a real thing with, you know, 100%. in society right now, you hear, you watch all these video stories, things that happen. It's our, so, it's our yeah. So my thing, like, again, we have a personal trainer here that, you know, cares about not just his body, but, you know, his clients. And it's like my thing, even like, I'll let my, my kids eat whatever they want too, but it's like, yo, be active, right? Yeah. Because when you get older and you go to junior high, even, even elementary, your body start changing. Like, more. you know, yeah. and, you know, and, and I'm not, let's, let's not be, let's not be hypocrites. Yeah. If you were, when we were younger, and if you were on the bigger side, you know, you get made fun of by everybody, but you got to take it. Aguantate. Now it's a, oh no, he's getting bullied. Whoa, whoa, okay, so how can we change this narrative of helping the youth be like, yo, like, watch what you say, dog, like. Be, be mindful of what you say and how you say things. But at the same time, it's like, yo, I don't want to create a weak mindset. Or oh, you feel that way about yourself? Well, how the fuck do we fix it? How can you fix it? And how can I help you fix it, right? Like, uh, today I coached my, my girls and we won our first game today after being on the four, uh, losing streak. But I need to remind them because I'm hard. Like, we're, we're assholes because we need to be. And I feel like we need to be. But today I seen my girls fucking just blossom. So we finished. I was like, yo, you did a great job. I'm so proud of you. And like looking at them, having that reassurance, it's like, yo, we need reassurances. If us as adults, we need reassurances still, what makes us think that these kids don't need it? That may be the only reassurance they get that, that whole day or like yeah, the whole week. They might like, I, I'll make fun of some of, some of the players, right? Because they're like, I think one of them got in trouble and the dad took the hinges off the door. <laughs> I'm like, dude, they're going to take the hin the doors off. And they start laughing. I was like, hey, like, if no one had told you today, like, I'm proud of you. You did really good today. Keep going. Sometimes that's all people need, right? Yeah. Just something positive in their day. To hold on to. I, I just like, hey, you look good today. It's like, okay, thank you. And they just you just need to hold on to it because there's 30 million things going wrong. You may not love yourself. You may not like how you look. You may not love your job. You may not like what you're doing. But for that moment, that person just made <laughs> yes. you feel. It's some the type easiest of thing way. you can do. Be kind to people. You never it changes know. Everything. Like, working in the medical field has taught me that so much. Of like, there's times where I don't want to talk to these patients. You know, like I'm so Man. mad, but it's like I have no idea who the next person I'm dealing with. Next thing I know, they're like they're dealing with cancer, and I'm oh. hearing them, and I'm like, damn, like I thought I was in a bad mood, and I was. You know, probably giving attitude when I, shouldn't I shouldn't have, have yeah. or like it came out accidentally. Yeah, and you know, or sometimes it's just making a patient laugh. So it's like not just that; it's 
also seeing it like these are people like then yeah i see them as patients but outside of this they're having a hard ass life you know you just never know what people are going through no, you, you you never do and you know shout out to you know the personal trainers that really care about their their athletes care about their clients apart from the money side because when someone cares about your health and how your week is going and how your mental is going in order for you to perform you know you got a real one you know like again just because i know you personally we've coached and we've been friends for a while now like motherfucker we see you grind so hard and put your clients first and to find that in someone to find someone that believes in you when you don't even believe in yourself because you get broken people without even knowing them. I'm a part-time therapist. <laughs> no, like, part- honestly, yeah. I, with my trainer, he's my, I go, clock in, beep, Boom. type star. <laughs> like, so this, this, and that train- happened this week. Trainers, barbers, are therapists. Oh, hey, you go in. get medical because they be dumping everything on you. <laughs> Bro, therapists, whoever, like, our self-care days, whoever we, in, like, go to for that, whether it's a gym, whether it's a haircut, your nails, whatever it is, that is your therapy. Scary part to actually be like, you'll have a therapist. I know that's good. I know that's good for some people. And I encourage anybody to go and find that if you need that. And if you're wanting to, there's very a lot of options. But if you don't, and there's all these other options, right? There's trainers. There is even what if you care about your barber, because as I'm going to sound very cliche, but guys will cheat on their girl before they cheat on the barber. <laughs> Barbers are their number shout one modern day Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout yeah. out you for introducing me to Mayo because now I'm Mayo. Love you, dog. Mayo. But been with that fool forever, and it's just like before anybody touches your hair, mm, no one touching you. Like I'm gonna wait three weeks if I need to, but no one's touching I my hair. Have to, yeah. Right? As a guys and as girls, like they have their hairstylist, they have their, their, eyelash na- tag, their nail tag, their nail tag. I got a bunch of options. Yeah, yeah a bunch of therapists. Honestly, well, Carol's my she's my best friend. She's my eyelash. She's my threading. She's my therapist. I lay down in her bed. She puts the iPad. She's in a. You know what? I think what what's hard without in our generation now is other people realizing that you have an actual friend group that cares. Yeah, I think that's because it's so hard to find that a lot of people wish they had it, but. They don't take care of it the way they need to. I wish for a friend group that I can count on, that I can love and trust and roll with. And now I have it. But looking at other people where they're, they'll put themselves first before anybody else and they'll do them dirty before anything yeah. without hesitating. And it's like, oh, but I need real friends around. Wait, you're not a real you're friend. You're not a real friend. It's like you need to put in the work as well. Friendships yes. are not easy. I mean, Carol broke up a thousand times, but it's like, if we're going to make it work, you you have to put in the work, but I also got to put in the work, you know? Yeah. If you feel like there's a friendship that you really want to hold on to, then take that initiative to be like, hey, we need to talk about this, you yeah. know? No, that's, uh, there was, there's a, a, a thing that I, I read and it just made so much sense. Two hours feels like two minutes when you're around, when you're around the right people. We could be at a podcast for yeah. us, literally no, right. Hold up, today. We've been here for like five hours it's already. Literally, <laughs> we got here at like literally. 10. Yeah, got here at ten, and it, it's just like when you're around the right people. We're literally, in the next day. Around <laughs> when, when you're around the right people, in the right circle with the right energy, you're like, bro, where did time go? It's like let's keep it rolling. Yeah, but when you're around the wrong people, you're like, not right now though, like, bro. I feel like it's been like two hours. Fuck, it's only been it 20 been. minutes, dog. That's crazy. Dude, at work, where you're like, I've been here for 30 minutes. I've been here for three minutes, eight like, hours. <laughs> 30 minutes passed. I know, you just clocked it. <laughs> 20 of those minutes. Now I'm going to finish that sentence. Mira, para que todos los vayamos a, a mimis, a dormir. We're notorious for quotes, man. Well, not even, listen, listen. Let me, let me put it this way. Let's not even do a quote. Something that's just off. Throughout reflection of the whole year, something that you would want to recap, and if you could put it into words, tell the version of you at the beginning of this year that now you could tell them. (laughs) 
You go first then. No, no, I'm, I'm, I I'm got saying, one good. I got, I got one, one good. Then go. Why me? Because <laughs> you got it. I'm still thinking. <sighs> ten, ten, ten. And it comes in wants to go. Uh, it's like right here, but I don't know. Refocus your energy to the important things in your life. You see, like, I, it didn't come <laughs> I just got <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I, think I'm, I, I think I'm talking, I'm tachycardic right now. What the fuck was that? What is that? that? Just because, like, I, I, I used nervous. to go out all the time and I just stopped going out. I stopped partying as much. I was still going out and drink on special occasions, but I just refocused all my energy and time on things that are more valuable to me, which is myself, business, and me as an athlete. Yeah. So refocus your energy into what's valuable to you. Jen, I got you. Because I know you you have it ready in your chest, but I'm going to help Jen on this one. My fucking heart is keep going. It, it's up. going. Stop. It's hey, going. Yes, coffee you got to. That should give me anxiety, too. I know. I'm going to get jittery. I'm all cracked out right now. I'm all like. All right. From, from, your, from your corazón, from your heart, what would you tell the Genesis at the beginning of this year that went through her depression that you can tell her I now? <laughs> That you could tell her no. Um, your higher self will thank you later. I feel like this year was a lot of growth. And I had to make some really tough decisions this year. And, um, you know, they weren't the easiest. But I feel like I have a goal now. And my higher self is like, you got this. I keep going, you know. Um. Yeah, I just, I feel like I need to stop. I had stopped focusing on the past and start focusing on the person who I want to be. And um, and now it's kind of like when I get into my moods where I'm kind of spiraling, I feel like I'm such an imaginative person where like I look at, I bring out the little me and I bring out the higher me. And it's kind of having a conversation with both. It's kind of like, okay, why am I feeling this way? It's because my little me is feeling this type of way but my higher self is telling me how to get over it or like hey you know what that happened but remember we're trying to reach over here like we're trying to reach our higher self so i'm like it's okay to sit in things and feel things but also remember this is not the end like you still got levels to reach you know so i think that was just my my focus of this year and if I can tell myself in the beginning of the year, it's hold on because life is going to change and life can change in overnight, you know? It's just depending on you making that decision to take that step. And it's scary and it's you don't know what's going to happen. I didn't know what the hell was going to happen this year. My life completely changed, you know? And um, it's just rolling with the punches and it's just hold on, like... It, you're you're on the you're you're going you know yeah. you're you're going full throttle and it's <laughs> hold on trust God. <laughs> it's gonna be a bumpy ride. I know, it's it's a a fuck, ride. That's a fucking horse right there. Like, I know. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's just you know trust God and let go and let God let Him take the wheel and you know just this whole being my sobriety now and it's like when I I stop as it's the thing where it's like I used to be like oh God give me a sign. God, yeah. give me a sign. Now I'm like, God, give me a Bible verse. I want to hear it from your word, you know? It's no longer like, I don't want to feel like I'm testing God. Like, yes. oh, give me a sign that this is going to go good. Or give me a sign that this person is not for me. It's like, no, God, show me your word. And yeah. t show me what what I need to hear in that moment, where I need to take in, you know? So um, just just that. Just, you know, hold on tight. You got this. Love that. Man, that was great. Love that. Proud of you. Proud of you. <laughs> All right, baby. Get this off your chest. Get this off your chest. I, I already forgot it. Forgot. It's been yeah. like 10 minutes. I know. Nah, not at all, man. What do you what tell? What I tell my... What do you tell the insecure, unconfident, unproud okay. of himself, virgin of you? I'm going to bring it back to one of the earlier responses, right? The only person standing in front of you in your dreams is yourself. You are braver than you believe. You are smarter than you think. And you're way stronger than you seem. Oh, man. I'm so proud of you, dog. There's a whole quote right there. Man, I, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, what about you? 
No, my thing is, and what I wanted to get off my chest from the beginning and coming into today with you guys, it's different because without you guys, I wouldn't be this version of myself because you guys make me and want, make me be a better person. You guys drive me to be the better version of myself, to be a better friend to you guys, to not be not be the old me. You guys make me be a better dad. You guys make me be, be a better brother, a son. And because of you guys, uh, it's that one. Because of you guys, y'all make me find my purpose and my reason. Without you guys, I don't know where I would be. Without you guys, I don't know what would have happened. But because I have you guys, I know where I where I am and where I'm headed to. And I would not change that for the world. So I love you guys so much. And I thank you guys so much for everything we've done this year. Because I'll tell anybody day in, day out, no matter where we are, no matter what room, no matter if they know us or don't. I have a team. They're my family, they're my friends, and they're the ones that got me here. And they're the ones that are here with me. And if you can give me tickets to six other motherfuckers, we all come in. <laughs> other than that, I ain't going nowhere. But again, this this is why like our internals are so are such a priority because they're not fillers anymore. Our internals are a whole nother show. Our internals are a whole nother therapy session that we need to hear, that we need to speak on and we know others need to talk about. So this is low key though that we stop is coming up. Like, <laughs> I keep having to like. I get you know I was trying to burp and I'm like I'm not trying to burp in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like over here like are you gonna see me in the video? I turned one way. I'm like, this is why they didn't eat it. This this, this is how you know that. <laughs> okay, really off topic and after everything we just talked about right now. But when you go to a restaurant, are there certain foods you try to stay away from when you're trying to make a good impression? Some ribs. <laughs> Actually, nah. If he, On if your rings? Some ribs? It brings you back to that white chick scene, huh? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if she have a salad, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps not. not. <laughs> With extra onion. <laughs> I love that movie. It's a great movie. It is. Oh man. <laughs> well, like for I think for like I, I'm a big mariscos person. So if you eat mariscos yeah. on the first date, you're fucked. Low key, because your breath is stinking. You're gonna have to have like the whole <laughs> all the mints, chug them, have hey, mouthwash okay, ready no, to also, stand by. On some real thing though, if you guys like went on a date and the girl was just like munching away, like, real one right there. like yeah, real. like how would you guys? Keep her. Would you be like, damn, like that's my girl? Would just be like, god damn. Are we talking first date? Yeah, like uh, first date off the bat, just like get some ribs. Be just, messy. Like, like, oh, have you guys been to Boiling Crab where they're like, oh, nah, boiling, like, boiling, boiling Crab boiling is like a first date. I'm gonna be like, nah, not Boiling Crab. <laughs> Boy, no, Boiling, can, Boiling. Can they, can they come unshelled? Boiling crab is like your relationship already. What? I would pay a premium if they have them. On Honestly, on the first day, I'm like, you better, they better come on shell. Okay, <laughs> does it? Me? Does a drink say a lot about you? I don't know because I don't know how to order drinks. <laughs> you get like that? Simple. I always yeah, go yeah. for fruity. No, you, you go for that. Uh, the martini. The oh, the espresso martini. Espresso? Yeah, no, that you don't finish. That you don't finish. So anybody that's gonna take her on a date, she ain't gonna finish her espresso martini. I I drink, like, but we all go as a team. Literally, is the only one that dude. This shit was it's too coffee. No, no honestly, it's too, I, strong. Like, it's too strong. If it's too strong, I'm not finishing. Oh, my that's the best. Too I strong. Who we want that shit? Want it, like, I don't drink like that though. Remember at Joaquin's? I like here you go. I'm not gonna lie, that. That thing was strong. They made them strong. No, they wanted they you to knock you out. Knock yeah, yeah. No, they want... Like, there's certain bars that we think it's a hookup, but they're like, I'm going to knock you out in two drinks. <laughs> 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 Shout out Punchbowl Social. Punchbowl Social. Punchbowl. No, our drink to go to, if we're going to... Tequila sodas. A cheap way, fast way, tequila soda. Tequila sodas. Two limes, though. Two limes. Two limes. Two limes. It doesn't have and two limes And throw some cherries one. in there, actually. Bomb. Wait, on what? Wait, what? The the cherries. The tequila sodas? Yeah. This is not a Charlie Temple. Honestly, this is not a Charlie Temple. <laughs> honestly, I don't like. We're, we're actually me and my coworkers were talking about it. 
Sorry, but the Kira salt water is disgusting. Salt water? No. <laughs> what the hell? Water. What that's are you? Why, that's why it's disgusting. <laughs> soda water. Salt water. What? Tequila soda water. I think it's, it's disgusting. It's not supposed to taste good, but it's literally just tequila. Yeah. Tequila, tequila soda. I'd rather water? just take it's a like shot. I'd rather calories. just take a shot to the dome at that point. Get get rid of the nerves. Get maybe it's a bad date already, so you're just trying not to be in not a bad mood. Remember room. anything. <laughs> At that point, I mean, at, at that, that point, point just, out 10 shots. at that point, send me those emojis. Come see me. At that point, I'm about to send those emojis AMF. myself. Or AMF. You AMF. know, if your partner orders an AMF at the first date, that's good. you got you got a crazy that's one. Sick. You got a crazy she one. She's wild. She's too young too. Now you gotta be. I think first date you gotta be classy. I sure. like margaritas. Classy. Get a margarita. Yeah. Don't order onion rings on the first date. Mojitos are good too. Mojitos are are like a safe like a safe drink. Like the best drink to get, like at least margarita. Oh. Patrol margarita. Mojito or mule? Come on. All meals are safe, too. Mo- yeah, meals are good. You can get them flavored or unflavored. Nice, refreshing. <laughs> Comes in a cool little cup. <laughs> it, you look classy. classy. You get that You get that tin mug, that <laughs> copper mug. You know you're, you're out of You're coming home with a mason me. jar or the skinny one. <laughs> oh, dude. Come on. Nah, man. Uh, I think this podcast, this episode, how Jen said, it went it went it always goes a lot better than we always anticipate because we try to plan and try to perfect things but at the same time the most perfect is the most imperfect moment we didn't prepare we had an idea it went there but then it didn't go there and then it just and then we completely we went off it. that's the thing but we started off funny right and then somehow we still ended up in those serious, deep, oh, serious yeah. conversations which we were trying to kind of avoid <laughs> today if you want to donate right now <laughs> to me, I'll drop my Venmo down below. Cash app donation. If you give me a hundred, I'll give you a thousand by the end of the day. Oh. Oh, <laughs> the you give me oh. ten, I give you twenty. And the you, next if week, you think about it, as just like getting a relationship. They promise you the world, and then they don't you get nothing giver. back. It's a scheme. It's a scheme. It's a scheme. <laughs> don't recommend it. Ten out of ten. Don't recommend getting into a relationship. Pretty soon you'll be, if you're a girl, you'll be taking care of the homie at the. And you'll be sitting on your fucking couch every day, not doing shit. You're gonna right. be working twenty hours a day. You're, he's gonna be making yeah. you lunch. It's kind of personal. <laughs> That's very specific. Who hurt you? <laughs> Nah, bro. Instagram, Instagram memes are going crazy. What's the Instagram, people on look, Instagram be going girls, crazy too? If girls are not waking up in the morning to make their vato lonche, she ain't a real one. She ain't a real one. The lonchera is a real lonchera. one. I'm sorry, but I'm not making my husband. That's crazy. Breakfast. Damn. If I'm waking up early as fuck too, having to go to work. No. Meal prep together. Meal prep together. Okay, that's different. That's different. That's different. I will yeah. meal prep with someone. Okay, let me let me be, be very like, honest. You meal prep and he'll go to work. You'll you'll visualize. <laughs> you'll taste the food. What did uh shout out uh the comedian Ralph Barbosa? He was just like, you know, right now, you know, there's girls that want to be the home wife. They want to Heck cook, yeah. clean. If anyone all that. wants me a stay-at-home wife, he is, I'm right here. And obviously generations and society, it changes all that, but I'm not going to change my girl's mentality. I'll support that. So she nice. wants to be that? Great. And if she don't, well, anyway. We'll get into that topic next time. What, the whole housewife, housewife? situation? Oh, yeah. That's, that's a, a huge one. That's into. a huge one. We got we got we got shout out Wingstop. You know, we had that a week. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hold up. Shout them out because hey, they're we'll, 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 we got a free we got a free drink. Wait, 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 wait. Shout out to Kimberly. Um <laughs> our DoorDash driver stole your your sprite. It's good though. You know, shout out you know Happy what? Dad. Our Happy Dad literally was the first drink we ever posted, like started drinking on the podcast and went full throttle with it. Drink always. mine's already, sorry. Happy Dad is always okay, a, like always a good one. one. But, you know, we have me and Jose that drink Happy Dad today. And then we have the coffee people on that side over there. What you talking about? I literally took a Happy Dad, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you're drinking Well, right coffee. now I'm drinking coffee. Uh, Dutch Bros. That Shout looks like out. milk right there. Uh, hey, next, a little bit too much. Ne- Jose, next, part we're, next part we're going into the coffee situations. Yes. What coffee is good? What coffee is bad? Coffee spots, where to go, where not to go. Just don't say your favorite spots because then... And then they show yeah. up there and then they take it. We don't still, we don't support Starbucks right now. Just saying. That's why we did yeah, Dutch. That's bros. why I go to local. Shout out Dutch shops. Bros. Shout out Dutch Bros. Yeah, Mia. <laughs> it's like work. Oh, sorry, but my uh, see, I'm lucky. I got, I got my Keurig. Days. I got my Keurig. 
I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna say that right now. But yeah, an espresso machine is like five k, bro. You guys want to donate? That work too, <laughs> dude. I Costco. Costco. Hey, when Costco. when when you quit your job, just take no, it with you. Like five thousand dollars. A Keurig? I no, have no, a Keurig. No, an espresso. Or when I get fired, one or the other. I'm not going home at the end. <laughs> nah, but appreciate everybody tapping in. Make sure you guys are liking, and subscribing, and sharing the videos. Wow, we're almost wrapping up 2023. I think we have three more three episodes. More episodes. In a trip. Ooh. Yes. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Follow Instagram. That's where we're posting most of our craziness and events that we're going to. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's it's a movie. It's gonna happen. And right now, if you're listening to this, we're waiting on an event that we should be going to on a Saturday. We should know. But tomorrow. we should know in a we couple hours. We should have known. We should have known, but we'll know in yeah, a couple six hours. hours, buddy. So you may or may not see. Yeah, the if this, if if you're watching this, then it's because we didn't go to the event. This had to go up first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. This was uh, in case. Uh, you know this. This was like we needed to, but we can post it the following. But this might come this out. Was the one that's in the vault. What is this? The first, second, third. This is so if you're happy. listening to this on a December fourth, is because we didn't go to the event. That's why this is happening. Happy Monday. Happy fourth. If not, the if 11th. Not happy 9th. Happy 11th. The 11th. The 11th. Oh, and then the 11th. <laughs> what was the that? The concert. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that I'm was. excited. Was that? Sorry. 11th. 11th. I'm excited. Sorry. Damn, Friday. Friday. Yeah. It's Friday on a Monday. We have Friday on a Monday. Man. Sensing, sensing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Sensing. I think we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get used to the, the vlogging thing. We'll get used to recording our days when we're at certain events because, honestly, we're the most influencers, non-influencers ever because we're just in the moment. We're enjoying it. We're embracing it. and We don't care to hurt your feelings. Los vale verga. Well, los vale verga about recording. About recording. But we enjoy this. We love it. Shout out to you guys. Another episode of the books, baby. Let's go.